what's with all these locked arenas? I don't know. I don't really regret it that much. Like, it actually works out fairly well for me. And this is the one where I have the three books of secrets. Right, that's why we're doing fairly well here. Okay, let's just get away from the door so we don't, like, fall through by accident. Hate it when that happens. Okay. But no, I don't know. Competitive, competitive games bother me. Because, like, on one hand, I want to I wanna play competitively because, I mean, there's a huge dynamic to competition. But on the other hand, like, it's it can be and will be brutal. Like, um, I, I guess personal story time. I don't tell a whole lot of personal stories anymore because I kind of run out. Uh, but there's, I mean, like, deep-seated psychological damage. No, I don't even know. Um, the main reason why I don't like competitive games is kind of twofold. So I said I used to play, like, a lot of StarCraft. I used to play a lot of LoL. I used to play a lot of, um, of Counter-Strike, actually. I used to be a fairly avid Counter-Strike source player, oddly enough. Uh, I was never, like even remotely close to good at it, just because I was I was terrible at camping. I would probably have been a better Quake 3 player if I would known Quake 3 was actually a thing when it was in vogue. But, um... I was really good at Halo. Like, Halo 1 on PC? Mmm. I was damn good at that one. Uh, putting me in a vehicle, I'd ruin everybody. Take me out of a vehicle, I'd still ruin everybody. Um... But, so... Money! Okay, we got one of them. Close enough. Um... But so, competitively, like, I mean, I, I tried playing Counter-Strike a fair amount, and it just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It was very, it wasn't very arcadey, and I think that's what I didn't like about it. Like, the whole, if you die, you pretty much have to sit out for, like, the entire round. I always hated that. It was never fun for me. Um, but so, I would still play with friends, and, you know, friends would play... Friends would love to play Counter-Strike. They were very competitive about it. They were very good at it. And this was just kind of this was just kind of their their pastime, sort of. Ooh, look at the level go. Um, but so this was this was their pastime. They spent a lot of time doing it. They were very competitive about it, and they talk talk about it constantly. I was not one of these people. I had like a lot of other games I enjoyed playing. I uh, I still enjoy playing games largely for story, or like kind of on a solo basis, just because playing with people can be inconvenient. Um. But, you know, my friends were very much the opposite. They were very much like, all right, let's go, let's go play, um, let's go play Counter-Strike because they all wanted to be, like, competitive. They wanted to be, like, super competitive players with, you know, effectively a reputation for being damn good. And so what would happen is they'd all, all play together. And every once in a while, probably on a, maybe not a monthly basis, but close enough, uh, we would have a LAN party. And LAN parties are a lot of fun. If you've if you've never been a, been to a LAN party, you're kind of missing out. That said, with the internet uh, and like online games and stuff like that, LAN parties kind of not really a thing anymore, which is kind of a shame. I mean, they still kind of exist, but a lot of people are plenty happy not doing a LAN and just meeting up for games. Hey, bomb squad armor, that is damn good. Um, but so my my friends, this is like eighth grade for me, so ten years ago. Uh, so, you know, height, height of Counter-Strike Source's popularity. Uh, console gaming was kind of starting to really take hold. Uh, in terms of, like, the competitive market. But for the most part, it was still pretty heavy on the PC. Uh, because I think... Uh, I don't remember. Was Halo, Did Halo 1 have online multiplayer on the Xbox? I don't remember if it did. I know Halo 2 multiplayer was, like, super, super popular. And that was, like, the first time I'd ever heard of people playing online on a console. Uh, which is, you know, wizardry to me. Uh, because I only had N64 and a PS2 at that point. Uh, no, I had a GameCube. Uh, but still. So I- holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so, my friends played hell of a lot of Counter-Strike. Getting off-topic here, just setting the tone and whatnot. Okay, but they played a lot of Counter-Strike, and so we'd have these LAN parties. And, it was fun, but- Ultimately, the problem would become, and, like, I'm just gonna long story short this one now that I've long storied it. Um, it's really hard to team balance when a LAN party is made out of, made up of one very, very core group of people that, like, play together frequently, and one not-so-core group of people. Because, I mean, can you guess what happens when you put a bunch of people together that, um... That, like, know each other and want to play together. And then a bunch of people that kind of know each other and kind of want to play together. But, uh, you know, don't have as much skill or as, like, tight-knit of a skill group. 
effectively what ended up happening is the teams were split. The good people versus the bad people. Guess how much fun that is? It's not. At all. It's just not fun in the slightest. Um, and so, like, land parties would divulge into uh, one team just getting, you know, really sick of everything and going off to play, like, whatever the hell they wanted. Uh, which usually amounted to, uh, like, solo stuff or small multiplayer stuff. Uh, whereas conversely, like, uh, the main people that still really like playing Counter-Strike uh, would start just playing online and, like, take over an entire side. And it's just like, this would be fun if I could participate. But the team was full. And I don't know. Like, I, I sound super bitter on this sort of thing, but it's just like... I'm gonna go for the Book of Secrets. I know... I know... I should probably go for Heart of Belial, but I'm just going to count this as investing. Also getting a fair amount of money here. I guess the Black Hole Box really doesn't make a lot of difference. Okay, but, um, so actual story time instead of just, like, kind of baseline. So, I've talked to, I've talked about disliking bir having, uh, having birthdays. I've not had a good birthday in years. Usually it's either forgotten, or I'm busy, or... It's kind of one of those where it's like, I'm a bat, I'm a hard person to get gifts for. Usually just because I already have everything that I want, because I'm pretty simple. And not very materialistic, just because I almost never own anything, apart from, like, a computer and a video game. So there's not really much I can be given that, like, truly excites me, apart from, like, more video games. Uh, and a lot of people don't really agree with that. Okay. But, so, apart apart from that, um, I've I've just not had good, good birthday parties in a very, very long time. And, I mean... As a almost 25-year-old, birthday parties at this point, kind of a thing of the past, and I'm pretty okay with that. But I, I'm trying to think of, like, all of my birthdays in high school. And, like, most of them were pretty meh. I had, like, I had uh, one birthday that was actually kind of good, where we played, like, Airsoft in my backyard, because I got a massive backyard. Because it's, like, all swamp, and it was a really dry summer. Um, trying to drop that key so at least we have it there. Uh, but that was fun, except for when one guy decided to point-blank shoot himself in the head with a... Oh, right. No, that, that had an element of somebody ruining it, too. Damn it. Okay. Um. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have time to get over here. There we go. Please, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. Okay, we made it. We're not dead yet. And we're all good. Whew! That was scary. Okay. Tell, tell people money and everyone follows suit. No, that's true. And I, actually, at this point, uh, just my family doesn't give gifts. I don't expect gifts, and I do not give gifts myself. Uh, so it's very weird when I get invited to weddings, and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to bring. Uh, money? I usually just, like, help. I don't know. I also don't go to weddings that much. Or I go to weddings with somebody that's already given a gift, and I'm like, I'm just going to pretend I'm with them. Um, Because I am, because I don't actually know the bride and groom. Or groom and groom, really. Okay, but so, uh, bad birthday party. I don't remember which one this is. Probably, like, my 16th birthday party. Eh, might have been my 15th. Uh, but so, I really liked having all, all night LAN parties. I mean, if, you, if you're a gamer, uh, especially in your teens, and LAN parties are kind of the height of gamer social culture, all night LANs seem like a lot of fun, right? And they are. When, you know, everybody's, like, involved kind of in the same manner, and, you know, friends and whatnot. Okay. So, I I was really good friends with a guy, uh, and, I mean, he was Chinese, there's nothing necessarily interesting about this, but, um, it's just the only way I can identify him in comparison. We had the Chinese guy, the Irish guy, and the guy that was pro I, I want to say he was from the Philippines, maybe? I don't know. He, he was hard, he, he was hard to match as far as, like, his ethnic background. Race, for this does not matter, apart from, like, some kind of weird cultural anecdotes that, again, have no bearing on the story. Okay, but so I invite these three guys over, plus, like, two more. And these three guys come over, set up their computers, and like, all right. And mind you, I had to pick them up for my birthday party, because none of them felt like walking to my house. It was comical. Then again, they had their own computers, but, like, the, uh, one guy just literally refused to ask for a ride, because he knew his, his mother was not going to be interested in giving him a ride to my birthday party. And I'm like, all right, fine, we'll come pick you up. And then we get to his house, and he's not there, and it's just like, well, where are you? And he's like, oh, I'm coming. Well, where are you? And he's like, oh, I'm at, uh, I'm at the YMCA. Well, when are you coming? Uh, an hour from now, you told us to pick you up for four. Yeah, well, I got busy, and it's just like, well, all right, I regret inviting you already. And this is, this is the guy that was, like, on the super fringe. Uh, 
but so like I was just like, all right, whatever, we'll just deal with this. But my mother, my mother was actually pretty pretty pissed because I mean at this point I can't drive. I, I must have been like 14, 15, somewhere in there. Um. Okay, but uh, but so the other ones show up or we pick them up or I think one of them we already had from like after school or whatever because it was a Friday night. Look at all this money pile in. Let's try not to get our, ourselves killed on the inevitable uh, advance of the ceiling. Also, next time we find a shop, oh, we are going to be able to buy everything we could ever want. Okay, that's that's good. I would have liked to win Leaf, but it wouldn't have helped me nearly as much as all these clusters of iron. Look at the size of our sword. It's absurd. Okay, um, but continuing story time. So, uh, we finally get all set up. Eat cookies, eat pizza, eat whatever. I don't actually remember uh, the true details of the party. Uh, except for the fact that, uh, kind of like what I was talking about earlier, where, like, nobody really knew what to play. So, we all defaulted to, you guessed it, Counter-Strike. Which, I mean, really isn't that big of a deal, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, I was really, really banking on playing other things. And even then, like, Counter-Strike wasn't so bad, because I could always convince people to just do, you know, uh, comp stomps. Because Counter-Strike had fairly good bots, comparatively. And you could, um, you could face off against them. Well, this group, very intense about their, their Counter-Striking. Weren't really super interested. Oh, shit, that is really expensive. Let's leave, let's leave, let's leave. Okay, that is, uh... That was actually a lot closer than I wanted it to be, still. Um, how much is this chest? 2,000. I'll have enough money. Absolutely. I'm glad they dropped the price. They were originally kind of expensive. Uh, even though that one didn't really get that much of a price drop. It's the other one that really did. Okay. Uh, but eventually, after a couple of rounds, they're like, We're bored. We're going to go play Counter-Strike by ourselves. And it's like, I mean, you're at my house. I just fed you. And, like, this is supposed to be my birthday party. Uh, and one guy, kind of the outlier guy that I was sort of bad-mouthing that we had to go pick up because he didn't feel like asking his mother for a ride or anything like that. Um, he's like, all right, fine. Uh, why don't we go play this game? And just, like, list this, like, completely random game. It was one of those, like, s freemium games where, like, effectively uh, free-to-play games before free-to-play games were really popularized. So it's, like, almost an abusive cash shop system as opposed to, like, a reasonable one. Oh, this takes forever to dig through. Uh, that said, looks like this run is actually going to go on to the next cycle, so that's kind of fun. Okay, but it, it was one of those, like, crazy free-to-play free to play games. I want to say it was, like, Guns Online or something like that. One of the, like, super garbagey ones that nobody really gives gives a damn about, but, um, they existed for a while, and they're kind of fun to play anyway. Oh, shoot, I was hoping that would be a Vigor Beetle. No such luck, though, just a Plague Scarab, which isn't that bad, but still. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. But, so... Oh shoot! Oh no, no, I did, I did open up the chest. I don't remember what was in it, but I opened it up. Um, but so we play like guns for a little bit, and I think it took like four hours to download or something like that. So that was kind of a comical problem because I didn't have good internet at that point in time, or maybe it just took forever to download. I don't remember. But effectively, like the entire the entire time I was, you know, having my birthday party, it was effectively trying to get my friends to even participate in my birthday party. Uh, which was brutal. So eventually they're like, alright, let's go back to playing some Counter-Strike, because it, at the very least people can play that. Like, I was trying to get them to play Halo, StarCraft, all sorts of other things. It didn't matter. Um, but so, we eventually go back to Counter-Strike. And they're like, alright, so we don't want to face against bots anymore. And I'm like, fine, let's organize the teams. It's like, no, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do it this way. And they're like, alright, we're gonna do this a 3v3. Uh, and it was me... Uh, my friend, who I've probably told stories about, the, the furry guy. And this one guy who was, I think, fairly good at Counter-Strike. Um, but he was, like, kind of the, the crazy, kind of the stereotypical, like, almost creepy Russian dude. Who was, like, a little bit too intense about everything. And, um, you know, I don't know, just, God, I, I'm using stereotypes to describe a person. But, like, I'm trying to, trying to think of, like... A good way of ex explaining his personality apart from like extremely intense but like not quite socially there because of it I don't know and also like maybe a little bit too interested in military tech but then again I've known a lot of people that have been interested in similar ways that weren't Russian he just felt off he was he was, he was the the guy the like literally I, I have no idea why the school let uh, let us have the superlative 
But um, he he was voted the person most likely to blow up the school or shoot up the school. I think it was. I don't remember. It was it was not a nice thing to say about this guy. He ended up being in the man pageant with me. He was the guy that was doing Tunak Tunak Tune, actually of all things. Um, let's just gather some money here. I want to get multiple Dracul bloods if I can. Those are the key to survival. <laughs> Especially with a sword this large. Yes. Okay, and I can only buy one of them. Eh, fair enough. Okay. But so, um... So, me, the furry, and the crazy Russian kid are all on one team. And then it's the three guys that play Counter-Strike together at all times. And I'm like, these don't even seem remotely fair. And they're just kind of like, alright, deal with it. And I'm like, I what? That's not... That, what? And I think this is kind of the point where I, I realized that, like, my friends did not care about me. And I was just like, all right, well, this is the last time I'm having a party with these guys over. And they always liked coming over to my house because um, my family did not complain. And we had a massive, um, massive, wow, money shot, more money shot. Uh, we had a massive basement uh, that I'm currently in. I'm in a different room in the basement. More money shot, yes. Okay, this is going to pump our, our damage like crazy. Um, but so, we had a massive basement. Nobody had to worry about being quiet, there was plenty of food, and temperature control was great. I also had a pool. Have a pool. We just don't open it up anymore because, uh, it, I mean, it's really cool having a pool when you're young. Less so when you're older, just because it's just like, I don't have time for this. Though, I do kind of miss it on, on the hot days. We just haven't had a hot day yet, so I haven't had the chance to miss it. Um, but so, uh, I think we ended up playing Counter-Strike like this for like two, three hours up until I raged quit. And then I just went off to go play video games by myself. I think I started playing like the Halo campaign. I was just like, this sucks. Um, and it's not necessarily like competitive games that are at fault, but it's kind of the natural propensity for somebody to want to stack a team um, that I think made the whole idea of competitive games uh, reprehensible to me. I think that is actually the last time I really liked playing competitive games. I liked it in um, college because it was almost all of the competitive games were us versus the world or just kind of parallel competition where you don't have to worry about like taking somebody out of the game so skill skills don't matter. So for example, one of my favorite competitive games is uh, actually Sniper Elite now has kind of taken it up and I actually really like the competition for score just because uh, it's not very frenetic and I mean shooting somebody kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's just like, eh, whatever. It doesn't, like, end the round too much, but I, I guess if you don't kill, get any kills, it would suck. Um, Bird, Bird did get pretty salty at me for playing that, uh, for some of my tactics here and there. Um, where's the entrance? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it must have been a survival room, which really did not force me to survive for long. I actually really wish the survival rooms were to literally just survive, um, for, like, a minute or so and you don't even have to worry about the ceiling coming down just uh, dealing with the sheer number of enemies rolling in that would make a lot of sense um but so I, I think that was actually the last time i intentionally ever versed off against people in uh without like having a good reason to do so and now the only times that i do are generally for youtube because then i can at least be salty on the internet and people seem to enjoy that but ever since i don't know i've never really liked competitive games I, I tried, like, League of Legends for a while, and it was kind of fun, but, like, um, it was fun because when I, when I started playing League of Legends, I had prior experience with Dota, and nobody else did, so I was running around wrecking people as, like, the shitty characters, uh, or the non-shitty characters, and, like, I remember playing as some bear character in League of Legends, and this is, like, I want to say when it was still in beta, so, like, you couldn't even get in without an invite code, um, and I was running around just yelling bear and wrecking people. It was so much fun because it's just like, all right, let's be let's be stupid. And then everybody went home for the weekend and played collectively, I want to say like 100 hours worth of League of Legends, at which point I was no longer even remotely close to good at the game in comparison to these people. So it's just like, all right, never mind. Let's see. I want games like Crawl to have online multi multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, man. Crawl is amazing. Uh, if anybody watching this has never seen or heard of Crawl, I mean, I did a video on it, but that's not necessarily, like, important here. Uh, but if you've got friends that, like, you can do couch co-op with, go do couch co-op with them in Crawl. It's amazing. 
uh, like it's an amazing game. It, it's got some kind of clever combat mechanics, and honestly, it just does competition well. Because if you're going to have a competitive game, it's you pretty much want the competitive element to be uh, non-prohibitive to gameplay. So the entire point of Crawl is, I mean, you have to make it to the end, beat the boss, but anybody that's not currently alive, quote-unquote, is actually the monster that the player is fighting. I think that's actually a glorious way of handling competitive multiplayer. And it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoy playing that game, and I'm really sad that it doesn't have online multiplayer yet. I'm really hoping those, uh, the developers manage to have, um, manage to actually put it in at some point. Because, like, as much as I want them to add more monsters and stuff like that, I want the ability to play it and record it with people. Because if I could have, like, a, a, a Catterday, a kind of weekly Catterday, you know, crawl bonanza, I totally would. It would be a lot of fun. Uh, no such, no dice, though. At least comparatively. I barely heal from this. This is kind of harsh. And again, I, mm, I don't even know how Dracul blood works. I need to get me some, uh, Hearts of Belial here. That said, we're still wrecking things really hard. I, God damn it! every single time I said it, say it's my last run, it ends up being, like, the the run to rule them all, which is absurd. Uh, but yeah, no, Crawl, Crawl is one of the best games that I've ever played. There, like, might be a couple of ways that I could actually do, like, a controller share type program uh, to play it. But it'd be pretty hard to do. Hey, I actually got, got a kill. On that thing. And it's this guy. Woof. Oh, that's okay. Should be able to do a fair amount of damage to him. Our money shot isn't helping us that much yet. Because yeah, we're only ticking, like, 60 damage per hit. Give or take. I actually cannot tell itemization what my DPS is. That's not so bad. And we get more swords. I really wish these guys would give out, like, burst fire more often. I miss burst fire. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, no. Crawl, crawl is very cool. And, like... I played it with, uh, I played it with Keith and Andrew, I think, once, and it was damn fun. Uh, and I was definitely the better player, so I was trying to sort of take backseat to that one. Uh, I think I also played it with, uh, my, uh, my brother and my, uh, my friend Joel, uh, which is also entertaining. I wonder what happened to him. I, like, tried to get him to participate a couple times YouTube-wise, because he was, like, ac he's actually super passionate about, like, other YouTubers, but... Dude did not want to talk, so it's just like, alright, never mind. Uh, that's, that's actually a really harsh thing to work uh, work with, like, trying to involve somebody that doesn't do Let's Plays into your anything, and this is part of the reason why, like, I never really want to record videos with uh, fans, because, I mean, no offense to most people, but it is very hard to commentate, uh, and so, like, 90% of my footage would be me talking and then just random people in the background being like, yep, mm-hmm. Or they talk too much, and then it's even worse. That also has happened, and that makes me sad every single di time it does. Let's uh, let's buy a bunch of swords here. This is probably gonna pump up my dam pump up my damage a bunch. I've got a lot of a lot of cash. Did I just I bought every single sword available here? Wow. Yeah, not having to worry about money decay actually makes a huge difference here. Okay, there's that. Uh, but yeah, no, you you can you can do stuff like Team Viewer, which has some serious lag. Uh, but if you're gonna do stuff like Team Viewer, it's probably better to do like a turn-based thing. Uh, so what I've, I've considered is uh, actually doing a Team Viewer setup with Dokopan Kingdom, which actually would be like an absolute blast. Uh, but conversely, what would probably be easier is if I actually just uh, organize some of the local Let's Players for a run-through of Dokopan. Because I actually know a fair amount of people kind of in the area. I know a bunch of Let's Players up in Maine, of all places. Maine in Canada. Uh, so I, I need to actually get, um, yep, down we go. Uh, I actually need to, like, go visit them, uh, like Radical Retcon and, uh, the Right Click Regulars. They're all actually fairly convenient, and if I was, like, really passionate, if I ever get to the point where, like, I'm semi-full-time, but I haven't, like, moved out, uh, for whatever reason, I might actually end up, uh, start making, like, weekend, weekend pilgrimage, uh, weekend pilgrimages up to other Let's Players' houses. That'd be kind of fun. I would I would do that in a heartbeat actually if I if uh, at least on a monthly basis if I had the opportunity but most most of these guys are like super busy and it's just like well mm, maybe maybe some other lifetime I don't even know we'll see I'm not gonna be able to have enough money to pay for I should not have bought that last missile 
Makes me sad, because all of these things that keep dying here aren't the kind that give me a whole lot of money. Let's actually grab this key just in case. Because I think we're gonna... Ah, crap. Yep, we're, we're not gonna have enough. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, but, um... But with Dokoban Kingdom, it's turn-based. So... It doesn't matter if there's, like, a delay on, um... On, like, the controller input. So stuff like Team Viewer would actually work great. Uh, if, if we wanted to do, like, Dokoban. Uh, so that, that's actually a serious consideration. The only problem is, um, and this might be abated by me actually investing some more money in the internet. Speaking of, I have not dropped any frames tonight. This is very encouraging. I was dropping a lot of frames the other night, and it was just like, mmm, hmm, pain. Okay, but, um, uh, like I might actually just invest, uh, some extra money at, per month to see if I can double my internet speeds. Because if I could actually stream gameplay to people and stream it to the internet at the same time, I absolutely would do so. Because I'd actually really like to do stuff like, um, stream... Oh, what's a good example? I don't have great examples, but, um, like, Bur Bird and I could co-commentate over video games very well, and it would be a lot of fun. Um, and, like, maybe even switch off and stuff. I don't know. Uh, but... Currently, I can't stream gameplay to him via Team Viewer with like low, low delay, and then stream to you know Twitch at the same time. That that's a recipe for absolute disaster, uh, and like bad quality on every front. Um, I guess there are other ways of doing it, but I'd rather do the gameplay live because I could I could always we could always do like postcom and stuff like that, but that's just no fun, or at least that's just kind of boring, because uh, you pretty much have to play through an entire game, and then. Uh, watch it a second time around and like if I was super passionate about it and had the time I would totally do it But I do not And also I, I at that point would rather just solo com com the entire thing the first time time around and not post comment Hello, I Don't need any black hole boxes Okay, so we've only got three books of secrets, but that that said that puts us up to, up to nine This might actually be one of our more powerful runs ever just because the sheer amount of stuff that will get dropped for us. Unfortunately, we do not have any Vigor Beetles or any kind of HP boost, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, see you, Tetrin Doc. Have a good one. Okay. But, I don't know. There, there are so many multiplayer games I want to do. And, I mean, eventually, what's probably going to happen... I think I was talking to Bird about this, but, like... The Super Pipe Dream, at some point, is to make, like, effectively a company. Uh, small office. Noise-proof the entire thing. And just set it up so it's just like YouTubers. And it's like, oh, hey, we want to go play Crawl. Well, do we all have like half an hour? Sure, why not? Let's go play Crawl. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I think it's totally doable too. I'm actually really surprised a lot of other YouTubers don't do it. A lot of them just kind of resort to playing on online with each other for like the entirety of it. And it's just kind of like... I feel like companies like um, Rooster Teeth actually have the right idea with their um, with their setups where it's just like here's a de dedicated group of people to do dedicated things together. Um, and like I guess I can kind of see why kind of the, the privacy is important and like the autonomy is nice. But I also think it would just be an absolute blast to have like an office space where like everybody has kind of their own little recording studio. But, uh, you know, you can actually go out to lunch with other people and, like, work. Because I think I'd actually be more motivated to work in a lot of cases, even though I'm, like, already super motivated at all times. Oh, shoot, I actually need to take one of these and leave. Uh, but I think I'd be, like, more motivated to get even better content done if I actually was, like, there kind of midday with, like, a group of people to work with. Because uh, I like the idea of having co-workers. Because I effectively do, but it's not quite the same. And I, I, it's also one of those where I actually really enjoy an office environment. Uh, but I think there are ways that it could be turned into, like, a really interesting uh, workflow, YouTube-wise. What is it with this run and locked floors and stuff like that? I don't know why. It's just, like, here is just a shit ton of locked floors. I don't mind it too much, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I think, ultimately, I'd also prefer to... Oh, please do not shoot yourself into the ceiling, Wander. That would have been bad. That could have been real bad. I was... I was... Half... Half an inch? Not even half an inch. I was millimeters from death there. That could have gone poorly. Oh, be still my heart. 
Let's just dig our way through this and buy more of these. These were the things that resulted in that really ridiculous arena win. And, well, it's happening again. So we've got to find the exit again. Might as well just pop over here, blow everything up. Looks like it's not on this side, to say the least. I don't even have a resplendent vial. If I actually find those in a shop at some point, mm, we're going to be downright unstoppable. All right, let's buy the last of the books. Oh, that is not the last of the books. we got one more. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the cash, so I'm just going to uh, divorce myself from the idea of getting further. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the idea of a YouTuber house. I think to a small degree, I would rather have like an office than uh, ultimately a house, just because I've had some bad roommates along the way. Uh, some hairy ass roommates that don't clean up after themselves. I think that's the ow. I think that's the main issue and like worry about having roommates. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna cycle right here. Um, but like, it's kind of one of those where it's like I think it would be easier to to have like an office with people than like a specific living situation because I have my own foibles that I think somebody would probably be annoyed by. Like for example, I'm. What would annoy people? Oh, um, I'm a little bit bad about cleaning up my room. Uh, so for example, there's. There's clean clothes just sitting in a basket on my floor. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm, I'm sure, like, somebody would get annoyed by what I consider to be fairly clean, or at least kind of messy clean, as opposed to, like, true, true neat and clean and whatever. Um, or, oh god, I, I was roommates with the, a guy that just smelled like complete, terrible be- Oh, that was fast. That smelled like just like the worst B.O. ever. And the shower was gross all the time. And I hated living with them. So I like that would be the one fear of like a YouTuber house. But at the same time, I would totally do it for a couple of years if I had the uh, had the time for it. An office would be just as fun, though. Both both would be a blast. Holy crap, it's 430. I've been playing this game for like an hour and a half. Well, backlog ho. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.